ranch. Driving over here, I was thinking about how I was gonna handle this. Been working on my anger lately, so I figured it'd be good if I could just quietly say, any kind of problem you got, financial or otherwise, you know, you come directly to me. Please, leave Carmela the fuck out of it, you know, like that. Of course. Then I saw the Cadillac. The money I give you, you're driving a Cadillac and you're looking for more? Shot the whole plane. So remember this. You see my wife. You talk about oven cleaner. Anything else, you come to me. But think twice before you do. Think about that fat fuck husband of yours and what he did to you. Him. Not me. Listen, I'll save you some gas. I'm just going down to the station I restored, then I'll be right back. You don't gotta follow me like yesterday. All right? What the fuck you doing? Lunch is ready. Wash my hands. You just washed your hands. Then I tied my shoes. So what? I can't stand touching fucking shoelaces. Never go to tie your shoes and you notice the end of your laces are wet? Come on. Why would they be wet? I got no fucking idea. You go to public bathrooms? You stand at the urinal? Oh, fuck. Come on, will you? He's asking me. I'm telling him. And frankly, it's important. Even if the lace is dry, and even if you don't touch the body of the shoe, bacteria and virus migrate from the sole up. Your average man's shit house is a fucking sewer. You look at ladies' johns, you could eat maple warm and ice cream from the toilets. Eh, there's exceptions. But a man's? <laughs> Piss all over the fucking floor. Urinals jammed with cigarettes and more ball cakes. And they can pour all the fucking ice they want down there, my friend. It does nothing to kill germs. Even if you keep your shoes tied and you're not dragging your laces through the oven. Oh, shut the fuck up. Who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Martin Luther King. Francis Scott Key. Kurma tvoja match. What holiday was celebrated for the first time by the American colonists? Martin Luther King. They fucking made me. But on your... Application to Columbia, you didn't check Jewish, did you? No, they can't ask about religious affiliation. All oh, right, right, of course. What'd you check? African American. So we do understand each other here. You're uh, Ditsu. Excuse me? Uh, charcoal briquette, a moulignon. <laughs> What's your problem? I think you know what my problem is. You see, your little friend up there, she didn't do you any favors bringing you into this house. Now, I don't know what the fuck she was thinking. We'll get to that later. Yeah, if one of my sisters ever brought home a fucking butterhead, you know what my old man would do? Did you say something to Noah? You're smart. You'll keep walking down those stairs. Oh, you didn't hear me? Maybe if I say it in Swahili. My daughter brought home a black. They were on the couch watching TV, snuggling. And uh, she went upstairs, and I had a frank conversation with Buckwheat. You know, I told him to stay the fuck away from my daughter. Hey, AJ, cheerleaders, any hotties, huh? There's no cheerleaders for freshman ball. You're a captain, Ralphie, when I say you're a captain. And I'm gonna turn up my hearing aid so I don't miss it. <laughs> what, your father never cut off anybody's pinky? You got your favorite Santa Barbara olives. Leave me the fuck alone. All this from a slice of gabagool. Chicken shit, cocksuckers. Go for the touchdown. I need another fucking five points to cover the spread. Oh, what'd that say? Anthony, would you go downstairs and wait for me? I would like to talk to your sister. Oh, I know what he said. Go. This cunt is gonna be sorry she ever fuck with me. I think you're drinking and dialing. I can smell the vanilla stoli from here. Because Soprano is... Very high up. If he was just some button man, you, you wouldn't be treating him? Elliot, please, huh, with the terminology? I had to stick a shish kebab up your ass. World War II generation and their music, exemplified by Ma. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're gonna sell them on the internet! John! John, get down here! You got company! This young buck. 
He'll fuck your wife until she moans. Fucking sand monkey on 17, he's holding out on us. Yeah, Ginny Sack told Gabriella she needed a bigger house. Ginny Sack Ramoni. What she needs is her own zip code. <laughs> Jersey's a small state. She moves in. She could tip it over. <laughs> I like a woman you can grab onto something. You grab onto Ginny Sacramoni, your fucking hands will disappear. She's so fat, her blood type is ragu. <laughs> she's so fat she goes camping. The bears have to hide their food. But Ginny holds ass. She's got to make two trips. <laughs> two guys can fuck her at the same time and still never meet. <laughs> oh, Johnny! Jesus. What's your other guy look like? What, I don't get a hello? I need $200 for November to put in my student account. You don't talk to me for weeks, but my money's still green. The fucker, do you know who I am? Do you know who my brother is? Mother what? What did you say? Mother fuck! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! 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 African Americans go to Columbia, Dad. Some of them are my friends. Friend my ass under a blanket on my couch watching television with his shoes off. With you. Strength and honor. Scotch. And soda. <laughs> as long as you're on the way to the bar. Maybe you should explore your own behavior. Maybe you pass out because you're guilty over something. Uh, Maybe the fact that you stick your dick into anything with a pulse. You ever thought of exploring that as a root cause? Very nice. That's very nice. Mm hmm It's incredible. It's like people who smoke their whole lives and then they sue the cigarette companies when they get cancer. Ah, oh, forget it. This is fucking ridiculous. Right. Just sit there. Silence, anger, and then you pass out and you blame the rest of the fucking world. You're both very angry. Yeah, you must have been at the top of your fucking class. Oh, motherfucking fuck, God. Jesus Christ. How you doing? Got new shoes. Soles are a little heavy. Do you know why I stopped you, sir? Yeah, I do. I'll tell you what. Why don't you and your wife have dinner on me, and you can tell her about it. Can you believe this shit? This, this fucking smoke's actually raped me up. Stay in the car, Tony. Affirmative action cocksucker. He's gonna be a vegetable, Tony. A fucking retard. Oh, look at the bright side. Wasn't that smart to begin with. Lung cancer? Oh, fuck, Bono. Another toothpick. What the hell kind of way is that to talk about a sick person? fuck is wrong with you? We're trying to have a meeting here. Oh, two minutes he's in charge. He's fucking Lee Iacocca. Worried about my father. He can't do this. He's been retired for seven years. What's this? We're in the Navy? All right, obviously you told the cops you don't know who did this. I'm upset. But please, I had to keep my mouth shut. Uh, unless, of course, there's a slimy sandwich around. I, I had to help him off the toilet. He's so weak. <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up with the toilets? Wait a minute. Who let this one in here? Oh, Wolfgang Fuckface. You better be good tonight, girl. You cocksucker. <laughs> Best hostess I ever had. This piece of shit steals her away. All right, come on, huh? Oh, come on. He knows I'm breaking his balls. Uh, seriously, though, I'm you. I hire a food taster. You don't want to fuck with a chef, my friend. What? You think you're the only one who knows how to swing a meat cleaver? Fuck you. Teddy Roosevelt gave an entire speech once with a bullet lodged in his chest. Some things are a matter of duty. How are we going to grow if we don't take risks? Going into business with a gangster isn't a risk. That is a guaranteed disaster. It does seem a little extreme. But hey, my man Jagoots, he knows what he's doing, huh? Glad I have your fucking approval. Whatever you say, Cappy. Product brandings, beginning with the letter V, make people think of vagina. It's just, you know, me sending an old man. What's he gonna do, gum the guy to death? You should let me do it. I'll take this guy apart from the joints, with him conscious. The old man? I don't know, what's he look like? Like an old fucking man. I don't know what your problem is, but you've had a hair across your ass all week. <laughs> Her bike was stolen from outside the library two weeks ago. The 10 speed? Did you lock it up? They used bolt cutters. Some black guy from the neighborhood. One of the other kids saw him.
What? Did I say anything? A black guy. Come on, Jeanette. Tony. It's just, you know, I can't believe it. What, is it my fault? You're twice as likely to be robbed by a black? That is so fucking racist. It happens to be a fact. Good, now you got something you can wrap me out about in therapy. Hello. Anyway, so when it opens, we are so there, you and me. I know you're excited to see me, but uh, try to control yourself. VIP work, VIP prices. It's 50 bucks to me, plus a blowjob later on. Oh, look at that. It's like an ad for a fucking weight loss center. Before and way before. I have come to reclaim room for my people! I don't get it. What do you mean? Fucking gladiator, you fuck. Oh, the movie. I didn't see it. You're an asshole, man. Hey, baby, I was wondering why you were. Oh, 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 fucking kiss me. How many cocks you suck tonight? Skip by. Where's Tony? Again, his weasel greased. Oh, your kid brother's here. Rafi, they're gonna find this piece of shit in the trunk someday. I'm running ragged here. If I wanted to work 18 hours a day, I could get a job at Denny's. Like they'd fucking hire him. <laughs> what are you crying? Keep it up. I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> What's the braces, honey? I'm pregnant. Ralphie's. Congratulations. I don't know what to do. He acts like he doesn't give a shit. Did you ever think he's not acting? Rage. Your situation. You need another kid like you need a fucking hole in the head. So you think I should get an abortion? Believe me. But Ralphie's the father, you'll be doing this kid the next two generations a favor. This is a great gladiator movie. Look at Kurt Douglas's fucking hair. They didn't have flat tops in ancient Rome! Mind your fucking business, Ralph. Oh, where do you get the balls to come here? Three grand is cuts it to me. And where do I get my fucking balls? You little bootjack. <laughs> do you pay what you owe? That shaved twat of yours belongs to me. You understand? Hey, college boy. How's school? Good. You know, back in the books. Almost Dean's list. What's this almost? Give me his name. No more almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy. We'll name him after me. If it's a girl, we'll name it Tracy after you. This way she can grow up to be a cocksucking slob, just like her mother. No, oh, you're gonna be on that school bus to DC tomorrow. You're all packed and paid for, and you're gonna pay attention, you're gonna learn something for a change. We're going to FBI headquarters. So? Mm. That's all they have at Kings these days, balsamic, balsamic, balsamic. My mother never heard of balsamic. Me, you say sign, I sign. You tell me to take a crap on the deck of the Queen Mary, an hour later they're hosing it down with disinfectant. Whole issue of U.S. news on seniors and health. Bring somebody with you to the doctors, it said. Somebody to ask questions. You ask one dumb fucking question about my diet. You could have called. Now everything's cold. Well, that's why they invented microwaves. For inconsiderate husbands. I was there with Georgette, and he followed me into the ladies' room, and he acted. Oh, life contour. Get the fuck out of my oh, sight. Fucking shit, bad. In the fucking bathroom? Ow. Motherfucker. He's a sick fuck. He was sniffing her fucking panties. What? You heard me. Did you sniff that girl's panties? He told you that? Fucking baby. You gotta apologize. Hey, I'm not apologizing for you. You out of line. He's gonna marry the girl, for Christ's sakes. As of the wedding day, anything that touches a pussy is off limits.
If you're gonna lie to me, tell me there's a broad waiter in the car who wants to tongue my balls. Well, you don't got enough on your plate? I mean, in your blender? You were gone a long time. How many White Castle did you have? I didn't, I swear. I can smell them. You come with me. To listen and ask questions. Anthony is a cunt here away from owning all of Northern Jersey. And I am that cunt here. Yeah. Those two pricks are holding a hostage. He's Italian. Jews are better food. You're not even married yet. You're dipping into whores already. For you. Titanium. I use one. Added 10 yards to my drives. Thanks, but I really can't accept it. Anyway, what am I gonna do with it? I already got one, and Mr. Williams here, he don't play, right? Stupid the fucking game. Beat him and suck my dick! Get him! Yes! Let's whack this cocksucker and be done with it. Another time, Anthony? Cocksucker turns his back on a boss? That, I couldn't believe. Look at him put one in his fucking head. You think I'm afraid of that fat fuck? No offense. I need you to call Rosalie and cancel with them. Thanksgiving? Why? Just do it, all right? Enough of this Jetson shit. Them going over to Mr. Spacely's house for dinner. You want to know what I'm interested in? <laughs> Men's fashion. Not the faggy part of it. Fuck him and his turkey. I gotta shove a drumstick up his ass. I'm telling you, John, he's not leaving me a lot of options here. Don't talk crazy. You wanna commit suicide, pills are a lot easier. But she was a whore, Tony. You know, I don't wanna talk about that situation ever again with anybody. Yeah, his reserve unit in Israel got called up. God bless America, huh? Did she call your emergency number? No, that's not the point, Elliot. <sighs> These fucking interruptions. Ralph around? Not yet. Want me to give him a call? Please. Let's just enjoy the quiet, huh? <laughs> it's pastoring. It's part of the game. Fuck the game. He's going down. Oh, what are you fucking stupid coming in here talking to me like that? I don't give a fuck anymore. And these drafts. I should be down in Boca. Drafts? It's like the fucking Amazon jungle in here. I thought you were going to ask my advice about Ralph Cifaretto. Got any thoughts? What else do I have left? What the fuck are you looking at? Call 911. Hey, there are worse ways to go. Even still, I'm the bitch I do. What are you fucking humiliating? All good questions. Great. It's the fuck I answer. Who says there is one? That's what being a boss is. You steer the ship the best way you know. Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes you hit the rocks. In the meantime, you find your pleasures where you can. Did you fuck her yet? Her body is mad right. Yeah, but did you fuck her yet? She's creaming for me, man. <laughs> you didn't fuck her yet. Look at the ring your father gave me. I already saw it. I was gonna wrap it, but it's wasteful to the environment. The Matrix. I haven't seen it yet. What up, Arelli? This place is a shithole when I took it over. You could use a little help. Make this place in the 21st century. Yeah, it's like permanently 1987 in here. God, they're breakings. Nobody misses the extra point. It's only had to do one little kick, and now I'm ruined. <laughs> no bitch to me. Bet with your head. No over it. <sighs> Don't tell me you were happy when she was going out with that uh, Jamal Ginsburg, the Hasidic homeboy. This pie was found at a crime scene. My pizza never hurt nobody. Come again, sir? You don't find any bacteria in here. Some kids broke into Verbum Day High School, broke things. They left us there. Now, you tell me their names. I go put my foot up with their ass. I got it, Pop. I me right now. I find it, these bastards. Pop, amazing thing about snakes is that they reproduce spontaneously. What do you mean? They have both male and female sex organs. 
That's why somebody you don't trust, you call a snake. How can you trust a guy who can literally go fuck themselves? To a geologist. Don't you think that expression would come from the Adam and Eve story? When the snake tempted Eve to bite the apple? Hey, snakes were fucking themselves long before Adam and Eve showed up to you. My sister was a Buddhist. She's a whack job. See you later. Who is that? Oh, that was my heart on. <laughs> you know snakes can fuck themselves. Metal still here. Jackie Jr. took her to the city to see Aida. Aida? A big man. Come, have a drink. You want something? Food? No, we're just gonna talk. Oh, high level. She went to Morocco? Well, who is she? Bada Bing Crosby? You vilify a man behind his back and then you smile in his face. Your wife. Her ass may be improved, Artie, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, come on. He's a designated drive. Me? No, you're the designated drive. No, 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 no. You, you, no, it's uh, you. You. <laughs> no. <laughs> Airport Ramada, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a go. Come on. Ho fucking ho. You're right. What are you talking about? You want to play Santa Claus at the party this year? Nah, I can't do that. Why not? I don't know. I don't know how. Oh, what's the no? You ask them what they want for Christmas, you give them a nice toy, and that's the end of it. Nah, not me. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. Why not? I'm shy. The boss and his family told you you're going to be Santa Claus. You're Santa Claus. So shut the fuck up about it. Get the fuck out of here. Where to? Who gives a shit? Well, Meadow thinks she'd still be going out with the Oreo cookie if it wasn't for me. Granted, I get most of my information from the movies and Bill Curtis. But I was thinking... I'm fucking talking to Stop fucking interrupting! Oh! What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, fuck you! Hey, 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 take it easy! Oh, take it easy! Oh, don't, don't, don't. What's the matter with you? What the fuck with you? You were just here. I was not. Yeah, you were. You were on my lap five minutes ago. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Now you're going out saying this. Listen, you're getting nothing. Fuck you, Santa! Oh! I'm sorry, Santa. That's better. I love that cocksucker like a brother. And he fucked me in the ass. He was a rat bastard. I said, uh, how about giving me some? The Russians? They're not all bad. How about the Cuban Missile Crisis? Cocksuckers moved nuclear warheads into Cuba, pointed them right at us. That was real? I saw that movie. I thought it was bullshit. Who is? KGB. Open up. We didn't wake it, did we? Or the other 30 people who live here. <laughs> Look at this shit. TV, stereo, DVD. The fuck's this? Universal remote. Universal remote. Probably wiped your ass barehanded till you came to this country. Fucking Silvio. You want to fuck here, cocksucker? You come to my house. What did you call me? Things are going good between me and Calm. You said so yourself. It's all predicated on a lie. Predicated on my ass. What's the difference? Much as I love my wife, being with Gloria makes me happier than all of your Prozac and your therapy bullshit. Combined. Hey! Ah! Fucking piece of shit! Keep out of it. I'll put one in your head. Fuck your fucking mother! Ah! Shut up. We start the way to some your heart now! No. The bomb hold. I mean you yet. Yeah, but yeah, it's a fellow thing what you had you. The guy you're looking for is an ex-commando. He killed 16 Chechen rebels single-handed. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, nice, huh? 
He was with the interior ministry. Guy, some kind of Russian green beret. You're not going to believe this. He killed 16 Czechoslovakians. Guy was an interior decorator. This house looked like shit. Could be him out there stalking us. With what? This cock? You just gonna come over here and fuck me? You know what? I don't got time for this shit. Oh, now you're gonna leave your low life piece of shit. You know what? Here, take your fucking dinner. Where are you going? One time we went hunting. Saw a sign that said bear left. So we went home. Motherfucking cocksucker! As you well know, I cannot... Discuss another patient. What if I do you an extra five? Oh! Do that by your own window. I don't want to smell your piss. Fuck you. What did you say? You heard me. Don't make me pull a rank on you, kid. Fuck you, Paulie. Captain or no captain, right now we're just two assholes lost in the woods. Those eyes are deep. Complicated. I said deep, you said complicated. You said dark. I spit it out. And whenever I bring her up, you get this weird push. And then you ask me, does she seem happy? Like maybe she's not. Or did she remind you of somebody with that weird push on? Like you don't like it. Uh, mo forward, whatever the fuck you call our relationship. She's complicated. I said complicated, dark, you said. Well, I said her eyes are dark. He had balls as big as an Irish broad's ass. Where the fuck do you get off? This immigrant, alcoholic, fucking probably HIV-laden uh, slut that? slashes my tires, and you have the fucking nerve to call my life into question? She wouldn't do it. I slapped the piss out of her last time. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think that you could treat me like some stupid fucking Goomba housewife? You think I'm gonna let some fucker shit all over me just because he buys me some ridiculous gaudy fucking ring? Don't go, don't go! I'll call your wife! What'd you say? I'll go to Columbia. I'll tell your daughter about us. Porca miseria! You shut the fuck up, you're gonna make him in an artery. I don't wanna fuck my mother. I don't give a shit what you say. You're never gonna convince me. Here, the higher good is the good of the core. As General MacArthur said in his farewell address at the point, the core, the core, the core. But I was going to Columbia, for Christ's sakes. I wants to be some kind of a professional woman. Like you. A psychiatrist? And I have to listen to guys like me whine all day. I got here first. God, sucker. You're late. Well, tomorrow I can be on time. But you'll be stupid forever. Hey, hey, sit down. I look like a total jerk off. You do the old man for Dante? In a funeral. Detective Philemon Francis, Essex County Sheriff's Department. You're under arrest for violation Title 2C, Chapter 37, Section 2 of the New Jersey Penal Code, promoting gambling. Every fucking Super Bowl, the DA grabs a few popcorn headlines. Here, go ahead. Last year I made bail so fast, my soup was still warm when I got home. All right, come on. Jesus Christ, you told me 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. Sorry, that's all I hear. Tony, look. Junior! Junior, don't leave me! Insurance, certain hope of the rest. Well, I, I gotta paint a picture. He, he was killed by some fat fucking see through socks. Take your pick, they all look alike. Sad day. Mm hmm. Kid was always a dumb fuck, though, wasn't he? Didn't he almost drown in three inches of water? Look, I'm not back in 10 minutes. They call the cops. Standard operating procedure. Here's some standard operating procedure. Stay the fuck away from Tony Soprano. Shut the fuck up. And listen, it's over, Gabish. Over and done. You call or go anywhere near him or his family, 
and they'll be scraping your nipples off these fine leather seats. And here's the point to remember. My face is the last one you'll see, not Tony's. We understand each other. It won't be cinematic.